Setting up a development environment for Xamarin is fairly easy. Most of the work is done through a pair of installers, one for macOS and one for Windows. Go to Xamarin.com, click on the Products drop-down, and select the Xamarin Platform option. This will lead you to a page to download the installer for your specific environment. So let's start with the Mac. When using a Mac, the first thing you should do is install Apple's developer tools. Apple ships these with its IDE named Xcode, which is available in the App Store. They only publish the latest version of it here, and it will almost always require the latest macOS release for compatibility. This is a free download, just open the App Store, search for Xcode, and install it. Once you've got that installed, download the Xamarin installer from Xamarin.com and go through the install process. This will install the Xamarin development environment, Xamarin Studio, as well as the Android SDK tools automatically. There are several components which must be downloaded and installed from various locations, so this will take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour depending on your internet speed. Luckily, there's not much user interaction required. Once it's finished, you'll be able to start building Android and iOS applications using Xamarin. Next, we have Windows. On Windows, the Xamarin tooling will work with Visual Studio 2012 and later. We recommend the latest released version with all the updates applied, which as of this moment is Visual Studio 2015 with Update 1. The tools can be installed into any SKU except the Express editions. If you want to try Visual Studio out, then just use the free Community Edition. If you're using Visual Studio 2015, then you can add support for Xamarin directly from the Visual Studio installer. It will install all the required SDKs and build tools automatically. Alternatively, you can download the Xamarin installer for Windows from Xamarin.com and run the separate setup program. This will install the required SDK pieces and add support to Visual Studio for Xamarin apps, and is a great option if you already have Visual Studio installed and don't want to go back through that installer. This will also install a version of Xamarin Studio for Windows. This is similar to the Mac version, but only allows for Android development. Once you've gone through either approach, you can check the About dialog in Visual Studio to verify that the Xamarin tooling is enabled. Next, you'll want to check for updates. The installers are not rebuilt with every update, so it's very likely that you'll have some older components which need to be refreshed. On Visual Studio, use Tools, Options, Xamarin, and then click on the Check Now link under Updates. On the Mac, you can use the System menu, Check for Updates, to get the same dialog. Both IDEs will automatically check for updates periodically as well, just to make sure that you keep your tools and libraries up to date. No matter how you do the update, you'll see a dialog similar to this one. This has two things of interest. First, it shows you any updates available for your system, and second, it allows you to change the update channel. Xamarin sends out updates in stages exposed through release channels that run from alpha to beta to stable. You can change the release channel at any time to try out new features or move back to a more stable environment. We recommend the stable channel for this class, but you can switch between the channels at any time based on your testing needs. Finally, once everything is installed and configured, you'll want to activate a license. This is a requirement for Visual Studio support, and the IDE will prompt you for this each time you create or load a Xamarin project, or you can use the Tools Xamarin menu to enter your credentials. If you'd like to just try Xamarin out, you can activate a business license trial, which will let you work through the labs and examples in this course. You can check out the current pricing and features from store.xamarin.com or contact the sales team through the links on that page if you have any licensing questions.